so today we are going to discuss the vectors during repolarization process or the formation of t wave so far we have done the vectorial analysis for depolarization of the ventricles in detail now today we are going to do uh, to see the repolarization and we will see how the t wave is formed in different lead this is going to be a very simple and easy topic initially we discussed that during the depolarization process of the ventricles the depolarization process starts in the septum in the initial vector it is in the positive direction and the the wave the wave formation in all the leads the lead 1 lead 2 and 3 is positive the deflection is basically positive because the the direction of the vector of the initial depolarization wave is positive then the depolarization basically spreads from the septum towards the endocardium and uh, the vector in large and so the the wave formation on the lead 1 lead 2 and 3 also increases then depolarization has spread to the whole of the endocardium and the vector has achieved its maximum strength and now it has started go going towards the basis and the base of the heart is going to be depolarized at this point the vector has slightly turned toward the left side initially it was on the right side but it has slightly turned toward the left side and which has also led to the small increase small decrease in its size basically at this point the vector has slightly decreased in size now when the depolarization process has reached the basis the vector has changed its shape and when the whole of the ventricles have been depolarized the vec the, the vector has reached the zero point again so the vector has it basically started from the zero point it increased and then it came back toward the zero point but the difference was that in the lead one in the lead one the final wave was closing above the zero line it was closing in a positive direction but in the lead 2 and lead 3 it was in the negative the deflection was basically negative because the vector shape was so much the direction was turning upward so when vectorial analysis for that vector was done when vectorial analysis for that vector was done it came out to be in positive direction for lead 1 uh, but in negative direction for lead 2 and lead 3 when the depolarization process has completed then the repolarization process starts basically the depolarization process starts from the septum and we would expect that the repolarization process would also start from the septum but that's not the case the septum is basically the first to get depolarized but it is the last to get repolarized the repolarization process basically it starts from the apex initially the epicardium get repolarized when it is getting repolarized negativity comes and the vector initially um, uh, the vector comes again into action and its direction is towards the apex and the vector has formed again in this vector it is basically presented here in lead 1 lead 2 and lead 3 and its direction is positive and if we draw this vector here on analysis we can see the direction the its strength or its voltage or its direction on different lead and we can we get different shadows of this vector on different leads in but all the all the directions are basically positive now the repolarization has started and it has started to to increase towards the basis it started basically from the base the apex and it is now going towards the base so initially when the depolar the repolarization process starts initially the vector size has increased the vector will have its maximum size when half of the ventricle will be depolarized and half will be repolarized when more than half of the ventricle has repolarized the vector direction size 
starts to decrease again. It will start to decrease again, but its direction will remain positive. And if with vector analysis for this vector is done again on different lead, it will give a positive deflection on all the three bipolar limb lead. It will be it will remain positive on lead one, on lead two, and lead three. Then when the repolarization has entered the septum, the septum is basically the, the last to get repolarized, and it is because the blood supply to the the blood supply to the septum is such that it it depolarized it get depolarized first but it get repolarized in the end it is just suppose it is a theory that it is basically due to the blood supply of the septum so the vector has finally started shrinking and in the end the whole of the ventricle has finally been repolarized when the whole of the ventricle has repolarized and there is no charge there is no direction of the ventricle because there is no difference of positive and negative here we have here we have some positive and negative because their positivity has started to return here it had some in uh, it has it had it increased in size so when it the difference between positive and negative charges was increasing the voltage of the vector was increasing but as soon as the repolarization was increasing the difference of positive and negative charge was decreasing finally the difference between the positive and negative charge completely disappeared and there was no difference the whole of the ventricle has been repolarized so there is no ventricle and the ventricle basically the the vector has come again to the zero point and it has it started from the zero point here it started from the zero point here it increased in size and it it came again to the zero point again forming the t wave the wave of repolarization but there one thing is very much important and during and that is that during depolarization process the 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 wave in the lead one remained positive but the wave in lead 2 and 3 came into the negative territory or it gave negative deflection due to due to movement of due to movement of the vector in the opposite direction but in repolarization process the direction of the vector has remained in the same in the same direction the direction of the vector has remained the same it has not shifted toward the opposite side so the deflection on all the three limb, uh, the three bipolar limb lead, it has remained in the positive territory and it has not closed below the zero line. So that's a simple and easy explanation for the formation of T wave and its vectorial analysis. Thanks a lot for watching the video.